we are to present the problem that is common in most of the African schools or developing schools. And I'm representing a group of formidable members from, the, from Nepal, Myanmar, South Colombia, and Uganda. We are looking at how do you integrate ICT into the teaching and learning so as to improve the interactive teaching and more especially how to motivate students from the traditional way of doing things. We are all coming from developing countries, as I told you. Our developing countries are endowed with natural resources. We are not able to exploit these resources because we lack technology. And we need the future generation to exploit what we have not been able to exploit. And they will not do it unless we have ICT in the teaching and learning. And we are going to start with science because science is the backbone of every developing country. So we shall start with mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology. Then we scale up depending on the available resources. We have few resources. And we know if we put it to a proper use, it is going to take us a step ahead with the help of the government, with the support of the teachers, I mean the support of the parents, and the motivated group of our students. Our students are very motivated, and they want to learn. For example, in my school, when it is time for computer, they all rush and they, there is a crash at the entrance of the computer lab. Why? Because they want to touch this animal called the computer and it's not enough. So they rush so that they can be able to handle a computer on their own. And we believe if we give these teachers enough capacity building, which is lacking, because the teachers themselves, they even fear touching the computer. So if we build the capacity of the teachers, and the teachers are confident enough to face the students, then we shall solve this problem. I had a very nasty incident. One time, the teacher taught the students that there are three states of matter. A student said, no teacher. They are now four. The teacher said, get out of my class and you will not enter. And the poor teacher had to go back home. One student came and reported to me that the student had to get out because he opposed the teacher. The teacher could not see the positive part of the student going ahead of him. He looked at it from a negative way. Members from the developing countries, how long are we going to stay in this state? We need to move. It's time to move. This morning, the ambassador from Israel was telling us that they don't have natural resources, but they are exporting technology. And as we have the natural resources, we are lacking the technology. Let's develop our kids so that they can be on the same level with the rest of the world. We are living in a global world, in a global village. Our children don't know how to reach there. They only hear the global village. Actually, to them, they think it is a village like this one. Kumbe, it is a global village of technology. Members, give us hands. We need to move. We have slept long enough. I have, we have the support from the, our countries, we have the support from the parents, we have the support from the teachers, and you give us the support. 
in terms of capacity building, we don't need the money. We just want to learn how to do it. If you have the money in addition, we shall not refuse. But we want to learn how to do it ourselves. <laughs> Members, give us the hand. Together we can develop our countries. I thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.